Good day and welcome to the AJ Styles conference call. Today's conference is being recorded. At this time, I would like to turn the conference over to Joe Quinn. Please go ahead. Hey, how's everybody doing? I want to thank you guys for uh, for joining the call today. Um, we have a uh, phenomenal one, AJ Styles, on the line. Um, excited to get there uh, in a couple weeks out to uh, the UK, Ireland, uh, Lisbon, be in Portugal, Spain, Italy. It should be a great time. So uh, I'll let you guys go ahead and uh, get started. As a reminder, if you would like to ask a question, please signal by pressing star 1 on your telephone keypad. If you're using a speakerphone, please make sure that your mute function is turned off to allow your signal to reach our equipment. Again, that is star 1 for questions. We'll take our first question from Lorenzo Pardeen with newspaper EE Journal. Uh, is this the first time you are in Milan? Do you like, do you know Milan? Um, you know, usually I don't know whether or not it's my first time being anywhere since I've been all over the world so many times in wrestling for 18 years. I, I can't remember if I've been to a certain place or not. Yeah, but I, I, you know, I'm very excited about, you know, coming and, and, and putting on a great show, I can tell you that. Okay, thank you. And uh, a lot of uh, your fans consider you like the best wrestler in the world. Do you think they, they are right, or uh, if not, uh, who do you consider it uh, like the best one? Well, I don't. I don't know that I'm the best wrestler in the world. I I, uh, I like to think that I work pretty hard when I, once I step into that ring. I take a lot of pride in what I do, and I try to perfect everything. Uh, being the best, I, I, I mean, that's up for discussion, I think, um, but there are a lot of great, you know, performers out there, and uh, you never know which one, uh, you know, is going to be the next top guy, I mean, so uh, as far as, uh, if you're asking me if I think I'm the best wrestler in the world, I'd say I'm not. Okay, and the, and the last, uh, you have just uh, a lot of WWE Championship, uh, will you try again in future? I think, uh, well, I do have my rematch calls for the United States Championship, and uh, I will, uh, you know, you know, try to get that uh, rematch as soon as possible. Um, uh, and I'll definitely try. I mean, I, I enjoy being the United States Champion, I, and I enjoy being a champion. So I'm always striving to, you know, have a, uh, a championship around my waist. Okay, thank you. We'll go next to Francesco Pallarini with no SS. Okay. Hi. Hi, I'm Francesco. I'm doing question for Sky Sports Italy. So, the first one. Italian fans are looking forward to seeing you during the WWE Live Tour in Italy. Uh, you have already showed up in our country before arriving in WWE. Do you have any particular memory about Italy, from food to monuments or some experiences that you want to share with us? Well, I, I can tell you the first thing that I, I remembered uh, and I will never forget is that uh, it, uh, the pizza over there, as far as food is concerned, it's not the same uh, as it is over here in the States. <laughs> That was one thing that I'll never forget. I, 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 uh, I buy tomatoes, and I uh, found that there are there raw tomatoes on pizza, and it just ruined my day. Uh, but but uh, it's such a, a, a beautiful uh, country, man, and I'm excited to be back. Okay, thank you. Really nice. And the second question, um, in... In the World 2015, uh, in Japan, you had uh, 15 uh, matches. And uh, this year, only this year in WWE, you have already did uh, 52 matches. Uh, so uh, just for the one-to-one -one matches, not uh, counting the tag team matches. Um, have you had any troubles to get used to this kind of schedule of uh, WWE? Um, you know... I mean, it is a little bit different. There are a lot more matches that take place, a lot more time on the road. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I've been doing this for 18 years now, and it's, it's just kind of become part of the norm. Like, my, uh, I think it's harder on my wife than it is actually on me. 
um, because it, it is a schedule that demands you being on the But, you know, it's just a part of my lifestyle, and, and uh, it, for me it was easy to get used to. Okay, thank you. And um, talking about you, we know that you are a really good video gamer. And uh, talking about some, someone else on SmackDown, can you tell us something about uh, some special passions uh, or whatever else uh, you can tell us about uh, some other of your colleagues in SmackDown? Um, uh, I, I really think uh, SmackDown uh, has the best roster. I really do, uh, and as and as far as video games go, goes, uh, it just it is just part of you know uh, our generation. Um, you know, a lot of guys, the old timers, would play lose mind if they knew how many video games that we we're playing. But the fact of the matter is, there's worse things we could be doing than playing video games, um, and you know, if, if that's the worst thing that we do is. If, pro wrestlers in this day and age, it's not such a bad thing. Uh, okay, thank you. And uh, when you were a kid, a little kid, uh, who was your idol? Um, I know a lot of people, you know, think that um, I probably looked up to some guy in, in the WWE or, or whatever when I was younger, but the problem was is that I didn't have cable television, so I didn't get a chance to watch hardly any pro wrestling when I was growing up. So as far as idols, my my team uh pro sports like football and basketball and baseball. So uh yeah, I always just looked up to the guys with you know, football and basketball and baseball, never never any pro wrestling. Okay, and just talking about other sports as you mentioned, about uh, soccer, uh, do you know something about soccer and uh, if you know or support any team and uh, if you know AC Milan or Inter Milan, the soccer team from Milan? Uh, well, of course, about, uh, all, uh, all kinds of the teams being over in, in, in different countries so much. I know that soccer, you know, or uh, football, as you guys know it, is um, the biggest sport in the world. problem is, i don't know anything about it, you know. Um the the only the only uh rules I've gotten so far is is when my kid was playing soccer. So I hope he I hope he plays it again this year so I can get more familiar with how the game is played. Okay, thank you very much, AJ. See you in Italy. Right. We'll go next to the Sensei Diaz with Mundo Deportivo. Hello, AJ. How you doing? Good. Uh, well, I don't know if you have time to watch the rest of the pay-per-view on Sunday, but if you did, uh, what are your thoughts on the rest of the matches? Uh, I, I honestly believe that, and I assume you're talking about Hell in a Cell, I believe that it was the best uh, big show that we put on this year. I think from top to bottom, there were great matches, and and they were all a little bit different from start to finish. You know, it started with Hell and Cell, ended with Hell and Cell. Um, surprises happened. Uh, I thought that was a, a really, really great show. One of the best of the year. Not to the pay-per-view, you're talking, uh, talking smack, and you said that you would be more than happy to help Shane Batman against uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Are we talking here about a Survivor Series match? You know, um, I didn't think about it when I said it, but it certainly could be one. Um, you know, Shane and I have uh, got a lot of respect for each other, especially after WrestleMania and the guys that do it. So you got to kind of respect that about him. Uh, never really liked Kevin Owens, and now that Sami Zayn is, looks as if he's joined his crew, um, it, I, it doesn't make me like Sami Zayn anymore. So you never know. It may happen. I'm still talking about Kevin Owens because he said something very interesting for me uh, next, uh, sorry, last week in an interview. Uh, he said that he doesn't need a title in order to be a top guy in WWE. Now that you don't have any title, uh, are you agree with him? Well, I think that uh, a championship uh, definitely says something about you. Definitely says you're the guy that puts butts in seats. 
that uh, the WWE champion does that for SmackDown, that, you know, that he's our guy, that puts one to see. That's why people come to see. So do you necessarily have to be a top guy, uh, you know, to have a championship? You don't have to be. Once you've got the respect of the fans and stuff for everything that you've done, um, you could be that top guy. But I personally enjoy being a champion. And just the last one, uh, with the Shield reunion we saw yesterday on Raw, don't you miss the good brothers? With Gallows and Anderson, would you like to face the Shield, for example? Absolutely. Uh, I think that if Gallows and Anderson and I got together, we would dominate just like we've done before. There's no doubt about it. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, good luck moving forward. All right, thank you. We'll go next to Matt Paddock with The Independent. Good afternoon, AJ. Thanks very much for your time. I just wanted to talk in general about the industry in, in general at the moment. It's enjoying a bit of a, a bit of a boom in 2017. Obviously, WWE sits on top of that mountain and has been producing some some great stuff this year. But over in Japan and over here in the UK as well, it, it, it's a good year for some some great matches. It, it's a good year to be a wrestler, it seems. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it just. It all depends. I mean, it, I almost feel like we've said this before, that, oh, it's a good year to be, you know, and, and watching wrestling because there's so many things going on. And, and that's a good thing, man. I, I, and the fact that, you know, WWE sees that and goes, well, we need to have something over in, in, in the U.K. or in Mexico and stuff like that. That's a good thing. And they, they recognize that there's other talent out there. It doesn't always come from the United States. And you mentioned, you mentioned there, obviously, in, in terms of that, almost an, an expansion, if you like, um, that WWE is sort of sat alone for, for many of the last decades, but they do seem to be um, sort of branching out there, really, in terms of relationships and territories and, and, that, and that kind of thing. That can only be a good thing for the industry in general. I think so. Uh, I mean, I'm sure other guys have uh, other opinions and, and whatnot, and they it's almost like, oh, they're trying to make a monopoly. You know, that, that's not what's going on. We're expanding our horizons, basically, and, 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 and trying to find talent that we necessarily – we can't get to the U.K. as much as we'd like. So, we, well, you know what? We'll just make sure there's a championship over there. And that way it can be defended, and uh, they can represent the WWE on, you know, you know other independents over there. I think that's a good thing, man. Uh, I think it's cool. Uh, it's a legit – championship. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm very uh, proud that we're expanding. And just a final couple of points on, on the UK scene. Obviously, you guys are over there, over here for the uh, for the tour next month. Uh, on lots of different countries all over the world, you get great fan bases and, and great reactions, but you know, the WWE guys historically have always enjoyed coming to the UK for shows. Uh, well, I can't speak for the rest of those guys, but there's a reason why I've been over in the UK for you know so many times over the over the years, man. Uh, it's just such a great crowd over there. There's, there's no doubt about it. It seems like it was yesterday when you know I wrestled wrestled there and told uh, you know the UK crowd that you know, if I had a chance to really rumble, if there was a, a, a spot available that I was going to kick and tell to them. You know, it was just like yesterday when I said that. Um, so. I I just really enjoy, you know, that part of the country. Uh, they're just they're true wrestling fans. And just one final point before I let you go: the the, the SmackDown and, and Raw events in in Manchester are going to be the first WWE shows uh, since the unfortunate events there earlier this year. Um, WWE has always had a way of of bringing together communities, um, sort of like a show of defiance, if, if you like, and bringing people together for a good crowd and a celebration of entertainment. It'd be good to see a, a, a good show, a good crowd, and, and everyone enjoying themselves that night, I guess. Yeah, man. And, you know, I know this is a uh, an entertainment company based around, you know, basically violence. But it's an entertainment company, which makes it different than anything else. It's all about having fun. If we think that we can... Um, help something out or do something, bring people together. That's what we do. I mean, from uh, breast cancer awareness to childhood cancer, like WWE does a good job of making sure that we help uh, not just our community or the United States, but the world 
and, and everything, and, and I'm excited to get back to Manchester and and um, just put some smiles on people's faces. That's great. Thanks very much for your time. Take care. We'll go next to James Paul with Vulture Hound. Hi there, Adrian. James, I think you're cutting out. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, yeah. sorry. Uh, we're, can we have him jump back in the queue and then uh, we'll move on to someone else, please? Okay, we'll go to Miguel. Okay. Thank Jenna you. With Mr. Uceda, your line is open. Please check your mute button. Go ahead. Wow. Oh, okay. Phone Here phone connection, huh? We'll move to Vicente Diaz with Mundo Deportivo. Hi, Angie. Uh, I'm calling you from Spain. Uh, as you know, you're coming here in uh, three weeks. Barcelona, Madrid are always big arenas with more than 10,000 fans cheering for you, but still not sold out. Uh, what would you like to say to the WWE Universe in Spain in order to go to the arenas and sell out everything? Well, I think they should be expecting uh, the greatest entertaining company in the world to to be present in a couple of weeks, and along with that, the SmackDown roster and the phenomenal AJ Styles is uh, second to none when it comes to work ethic, and I plan on I plan on leaving it all out in the ring. Your opinion was your best uh, your best match in the company so far? My opinion? Oh gosh, uh, you know I've had a lot of great matches already, and uh, I don't know that I could pick just one, and, and I don't know if that's a question that that it's for me now. Now I did enjoy the. WrestleMania match because it's always bigger than anything else with Shane McMahon, and I'm very proud of that match. So, you know, uh, that's one that, that's at the top of my list, uh, but there are many others, like with Roman Reigns and John Cena as, as well. So it, it, it's hard to pick just one. And now that you were talking about WrestleMania, uh, let's say, for example, AJ Styles versus Nakamura or AJ Styles versus Bobby Roode? I think uh, those are available. Uh, will it happen? I'm not sure. Uh, I think there's a lot of matches that people want to see, and Shinsuke and AJ Styles is definitely one of them. Uh, also with Bobby Roode, there's there's you know, very few people on the same you know, roster I've yet to have a one-on-one match with, and I think that, that would be very special to have any one of those guys in, in that, at WrestleMania. I, I don't know if you, you have time to play with the new video game WWE 2K18. Uh, are you happy with the new solo of your new character? Uh, yeah, uh, I have a, I had a chance to just play a little bit on it, not not too much. I do like the the new graphics, it's the new graphics engine that they're using. So it's uh, it's definitely different. It's a it's a good thing, and and you know this year it, they it kind of updated on my character with the entrance and whatnot and. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Hey, man. Uh, thank you. See you in Barcelona. Take care. Okay. As a reminder, it is star one for questions. Again, that is star one for questions. We'll go to Andrea Canton with newspaper... Bill Martino, data. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, thank, uh, thank you, Jay, for uh, for uh, answering our question. Uh, first one: uh, for over a decade, uh, it seemed impossible that uh, we'd ever see you in WWE. I remember the night of the Royal Rumble; it really sounded like a crossover uh, for me, uh, a crossover episode. Instead, you have not only arrived but you have already set yourself to the highest levels in the federations. Uh, everyone seems to love you, the new fans and uh, the people that already knew uh, before. Uh, 
as uh, you've been uh, good at adapting the to the WWE style after the other companies, uh, or the WWE, meanwhile, uh, adapted uh, in a more smart uh, and uh, more uh, technical style uh, at, uh, uh, from before? Well, you know, I've had that question a lot from the, the different kind of ring that, that I've been in because the, the rings have been different. Um, you know, WWE has real rope in the ring rather than cables as far as ropes go. So, and, and the size is actually sometimes bigger. But um, everything that I did prepared me for the WWE. Um, I, and, and as far as people enjoying what I'm doing, I, I think there's a lot of reasons why they do that. I think first they, they realize that this guy, you know, doesn't go out and, and mail it in. You know what I mean? It's like I don't go out there and have to do anything. I, I always tell uh, my wife and, and people who worry about my safety that I have one gear. It's all or nothing with me. And so I, I believe fans are excited because they know I'm going to do my best to put on a great show. Um, and, and I think they can relate to someone like me. I'm not six, seven foot tall. You know, I'm... I'm just like them. I'm one of the fans. Uh, I'm one of their guys. Uh, they see me, you know, probably more than once on uh, uh, independent shows or, or wherever it might be. Like, I've been in front of them. I've been doing this for 18 years. So I feel like that they've been pleased with my performance all over, you know, over the years and, and always excited about uh, watching me. Uh, another question. Uh, you will be here in Padova, and it is the first time that the, the, the WWE set uh, foot here. It's uh, the first time. Uh, we have not the uh, wrestling culture like uh, UK, like uh, other, uh, I think, about Germany. And uh, what, uh, uh, what, uh, which word uh, would uh, you use uh, to explain uh, wrestling uh, to uh, a person that uh, never uh, watched uh, a match? Well, I don't think there's much you have to explain when it comes to wrestling. It's two men or two women uh, in the ring battling. That, that's what it is. And everybody understands a fight. They've been in one before. If not, they've surely watched some, you know, a fight somewhere. Um, not much explanation, you know, as the tech on it. I, I wouldn't think that we're going to do... Uh, any kind of crazy matches with, you know, some kind of cage or anything like that. So I think they would be able to understand what we're doing despite never seeing it before. Thank you. Uh, wrestling is becoming uh, a more universal discipline. Uh, now, uh, some uh, week, weeks ago, I think Shukri a weeks ago, an Italian uh, guy debut debuted in NXT and uh, he show lots of talents. But lots of European and new talents, not only from the UK, uh, are showing uh, what uh, they are capable of. Uh, I think about Cesar or Shimus. Uh, what other European wrestlers uh, do, you, do you admire? And what could uh, be the future of uh, European wrestling? Well, uh, uh, you know, I kind of touched on it before that WWE uh, realizes that there are definitely other talent out there that deserve a shot at the WWE. And, and while it, it is a learning process, it isn't just about uh, being athletic. Sometimes it goes a little bit further than that, and that's why the Performance Center is uh, available. And that, you know, so many things happen, that, and, uh, you know, so many things need to be learned about the WWE. There's cameras everywhere when you walk down the aisle uh, to do one of the WWE shows. And uh, there's... It's a, it's a good thing that, uh, that the Performance Center is uh, available for guys who are just coming in so they can understand uh, what's going on. And um, like I said, it's just it's good that we're branching out and finding other talent from other countries because there's other styles that need to be introduced. But as I was able to learn pretty much every style there is from Lucha Libre to Catch as Catch Can, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. It's, it's a style that makes you who you are. Um, and as far as guys for a European country, I mean, obviously, uh, William Regal is uh, on the top of that list. 
Thank you. Um, another question. Uh, when I started watching the uh, I think about 20 years ago, uh, you, the, the, there, was, there was no internet, uh, and uh, the kayfabe was uh, the most important and most respected. Now, it's, uh, uh, there has been a shift. Uh, we see uh, talent uh, playing uh, video games in up, 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 and down, down. And uh, I saw you uh, playing uh, Madden. I, uh, there is another way to uh, communicate with fans. Um, what do you think about this change? You were here before when the wrestling uh, was different, uh, and now we can see uh, you, you will be, uh, all the, the talents uh, doing lots of things. Uh, what has changed? Well, I, I think... Everything changes over time. Um, and I think that what WWE has done is, is just change with the times. And that's what you got to do to stay positive or stay in business. You have to change with the times. And, and, and that we've told the world that we are entertainment. So when we get to pull back the curtain a little bit and show you, you know, show you two guys on up, up, down, down playing video games together. Normally you, you wouldn't see that, but I think that's good. You, you, you kind of bring the fans into our world just a little bit to see what really goes on. And, uh, you know, we have kind of all kinds of shows on the WWE Network that uh, people can watch now and, and see who guys really are. Uh, it's not just, you know, in the ring or, or, or on a microphone. Now you get to see this, you know, these wrestlers in a car or playing a video game. And I think that's exciting for the fans to get to see and, and know these guys a little bit better. Uh, and it's more, you know, personal that they get the opportunity to see the guys on a different level. Thank you, Jay. Last question. Uh, the last question uh, about Italy. Um, the question about the best in the world was already asked. And <laughs> um, you are an athlete uh, more than a wrestling superstar. You are a full athlete. And uh, it's, it's about sports, it's about uh, in, uh, training. Uh, which Italian athlete uh, uh, you admire the most? Which Italian do I, uh, I admire most? Athlete of okay. all the sports, not only wrestling. Oh, uh, as, as far as all the sports that I admire most, it, you know, for me, it's, I admire Olympic athletes, knowing how much training it takes to get to that level. And then once you're at that level, you have to train even harder because there's other, you know, number one, you know, fastest person or, or high jumping or whatever. I just think at an Olympic level that there's nobody that trains harder. And I always look up to guys who um, who train hard, train, you know, do their best and everything they got to get the 100%. I will always forever look up to guys who never stop and, and try to be the best in each and everything they do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. We'll, we'll go next to James Paul with Vulture Hound. Hi there. Can you uh, hear me properly now? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, good. The blame on that one. <laughs> on that one. Um, so I just have a couple of questions for you, AJ. Um, but first of all, after murmurings of a match between you and Shawn Michaels in the past, is there a dream opponent in mind you would like to face eventually? Well, you know, I always say this about this question because I get it a lot. Um, when it comes to dream opponents, that's not up to me. That's up to the WWE fans. Like, what do they want to see and, and how can we make that happen? Um there, there's, there's been a couple matches, like uh, someone had mentioned earlier with, you know, Bobby Roode or Shinsuke Nakamura. That could possibly happen. Uh, but, you know, as far as, you know, uh, me having a dream match, I just want to give the fans what they want to see. At the end of the day, they're the ones paying to see it. So let's give them what they want to see. Okay. Also, um what are your thoughts on the loss of your United States title, specifically by Baron Corbin? Do you have any uh, strong thoughts about Baron Corbin in general? Well, I, I think that I've said it before that uh, 
Barry Corbin takes shortcuts. It's, it, and this business that we're in, you know, uh, if you're not cheating, you're not trying, so I get that. But uh, at the same time, a guy his size shouldn't have to take shortcuts. He should just be able to maul through guys. The fact of the matter is, yeah, I did lose my United States Championship to him. He did take a shortcut to uh, get that United States Championship. You know, with Ty Dillinger, I had Ty Dillinger beat. He kicks me through the ropes and takes advantage of the, me hitting Ty with my finisher. But that's the name of the game when a, uh, you're, you're in a, a three-way. Uh, Daniel Bryan you know, made that happen. I'm not going to sit here and say that Ty Dillinger didn't deserve a shot or an opportunity, but you know, it kind of cost me because, you know, the chance of me winning is now from 50-50 to 33%. You know, so a little bit more difficult. And, you know, I don't blame anybody. I still got to blame myself. You got to have eyes in the back of your head when you're in a match like that. And it looks like I, did, I didn't see it coming. So I'll accept the loss and I'll just get the, the championship back. You mentioned before about like, UK guys and what like, the UK fans being, being great and that. Um, are there any UK wrestlers that you you're keeping your eye on at the minute as a as a possible future uh, future contender or so, or just someone that you think yeah I like that guy? Well, I've definitely seen some guys I've liked, but uh, the opportunity of being able to watch them and uh, it's just difficult um, when you're in the WWE. You have to stay focused on what you're doing, and with me, it's it's. You know, stay focused as long as I can. When I get home, I gotta, you know, kind of push that out of my head and be a father and, and be a husband. So it's literally I have no time to do anything else. I haven't been, I had the opportunity to watch anything else. Um, but there are some great guys out there, and uh, and I've seen some things on, on, on some tours that we've done before, and um, where we bring some of the UK UK guys in, and also. Uh, the championship and, and NXT. So I've had uh, some opportunity to watch these guys and interact with them, but uh, I haven't been able to watch it in, it seems like, a couple of months. Okay, just a lot of couple of questions revolving around the new WWE game. Um, how would you feel, how do you feel about your rating 90 uh, overarching other WWE superstar, particularly The Undertaker, who was rated 89. So, uh, I, I am rated a 90. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a surprise to me, because last time I checked, I was an 89. And I don't know how a former world champion, including The Undertaker, uh, gets moved down to an 89. I'm glad that they moved me up to a 90, but if you have you know, too many guys above AJ Styles, then something's wrong here. Uh, I believe that, uh, you know, I'm one of the better workers in WWE and that the ratings should reflect that. Um, I don't I don't know who comes up with them, but apparently they haven't watched any of their matches. So, uh, but as far as the game goes, I think it looks really good. Um, and uh, I'm excited to actually get to play it. I've, I've dabbled in it, but I haven't really got a chance to play it. And just one final question. When you do get the game, and I'm assuming your, your kids will probably play it as well, um, will your kids want to play with other people beating you up, or would you want to uh, do it the other way around? Well, it seems like they play uh, as me, my kids do, and I have to pick someone else, and my go-to will always be Steam, because that's a, you know, he's a buddy of mine, and I've always liked his character. Um, so yeah, I, I usually get the they're just, they're just really good at that game. I'm not I'm not very good at the WWE game. Okay, thank you very much for your time, AJ. All right, man. We'll go next to Miguel Luceda with Sports Es. Hello, AJ. I am Miguel from Sport Es. I want to ask you some questions. Okay. Uh, in November, you're coming back to Spain to wrestle for the WWE Championship in a fatal five-way match. Do you think it's the right moment to come back for that title? Well, I think uh, it definitely is the right moment. Uh, you just sparked me up to uh, a match that I'm going to be in because I didn't know anything about that. But 
I'll take any and every opportunity I can to get to uh, the championship. Um, it's, it's never a wrong time for me to, me to be in the ring and, and take an opportunity to be a champion. So many people consider you the best wrestler in the world. When you started your career, did you ever think that you could reach this level? Uh, absolutely. Uh, that's the one thing that I wanted to be. Uh, and not that I say I am, but I, I strive every day and tell myself in the ring to be one of the best. And and I thought that at some level, no, you know, I was going to make it. And I was going to be one of the better because I have that work ethic. I, I have... Uh, I challenge myself every time uh, I step in the ring. How can I be better? And so, yeah, I always, uh, I always believed that I could be. I didn't think I, you know, and I still don't think I am. But I always believed that I could be one of the best wrestlers in the world. Mm -hmm. Do you see yourself winning the triple crown? With who would you like to have a run in the tag division? Um. Well, I, I, again, this goes back to dream matches and what people want to see, and and I would say that the, the two, uh, you know, a match that I've heard over and over and over again is Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles. That's what people want to see, and I would love to have that match, you know, uh, for the WWE Championship. But time will tell. We'll see if that happens. Mm -hmm. Are you excited that NXT has brought the Wild Games back? What is your opinion? Uh, NXT has done a lot of great things. Uh, there's the, the, that's the great thing about NXT is where we can't do certain things uh, it, 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 on Raw or SmackDown. NXT is able to put on a show and, and do great things with that. I think that it's, uh, it's a necessary thing to... Uh, be in NXT to learn the ropes before literally and figuratively uh, to learn the ropes before you come to the main roster and NXT has done a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. And last questions. In the most important matches, do you use what WWE allows you to do or you go for riskier moves? Well, uh, I do what I think is going to, you know, be most entertaining. Uh, I'm always thinking, uh, to make a match better uh, and more entertaining every time. That, that's what this is all about. It's like watching a great TV show, you know, uh, a great TV, TV show series. You know, it's all the same thing. Uh, expect the unexpected uh, and, and surprising people with different things. And if, if I have to get a little crazy to get that job done, I have no problem doing that. Okay, thank you so much, AG, and I can't wait to see you again in Spain. And there are no further questions at this time. Okay, great. Um, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take off now. Um, thank you guys for your time. Uh, AJ, if you can just hang on in the post-conference for me. Um, but thank you guys. Okay. We'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. And that concludes today's conference. We thank you for your participation. You may now disconnect.